La Lida Loca presents the weekly cruise ship COVID report. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest COVID data. COVID data on cruise ships as compiled by the CDC. They do this once a week, and uh, we're going to do this once a week. Also, we're going to take a look at the latest cruise ships that have cases on board, which cruise ships are under investigation, and have a little conversation about what it all means. Uh, let's look at the data first. Now, we know that the CDC is getting data on a daily basis from the cruise lines and once a week they compile this data and they give us this wonderful dashboard on the dashboard they break out cruise ships into five different colors green yellow orange red and gray green cruise ships are cruise ships with no reported covid cases yellow cruise ships are cruise ships with reported cases but not enough cases to trigger a cdc investigation orange cruise ships are cruise ships that have covid cases on board and they have triggered a cdc CDC investigation. Red cruise ships are cruise ships under investigation that uh, aren't doing very well. And then gray cruise ships are cruise ships that are sailing in U.S. waters that aren't participating in this program. And that's a good reminder right there. These are only cruise ships that are operating in the U.S. All right, so quickly we notice that there are 44 cruise ships in the green status. 33 cruise ships that are in the yellow status and 31 cruise ships that are in the orange status. So if we take the 33 ships that are in the yellow status and the 31 ships that are in the orange status, that means we have 64 cruise ships during the last reporting cycle to report cases on board. What's interesting from a trending perspective is this week we only have 108 cruise ships, where last week we had 111 cruise ships. So that means three cruise ships left US waters. And if we work out the percentage, those 64 cruise ships of the 108 cruise ships that are cruising in US waters, that means that 59% of cruise ships have cases on board. 59% of the cruise ships have COVID on board. Does that mean we need to run for the hills? Well, certainly not. It's a nice piece of information to have. It's a nice way to figure out which cruise ships have cases. But uh, if you've been paying attention at all, there's not going to be really any aspect of life that's going to be a zero case activity and cruising is no different. The main thing that you want to look for is the CDC shutting down cruise ships, is the CDC imposing any regulations back onto cruise ships, and so far in a big way that that's not happening. The CDC has committed to dealing with COVID on a ship-by-ship -ship basis, and so uh, if there's one ship that goes way out of whack, there may be protocols added to that ship. But the way the process works now, uh, one outbreak on a cruise ship would not uh, would not impact all other cruise ships, so that's good. Now, I did compile a a list of which cruise ships are yellow and which cruise ships are orange. If you're curious as to which ships are under investigation right now, which are the 31 cruise ships, I'm going to show you that next. But first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, if you're getting some benefit out of this data analysis, uh, I would ask you to subscribe. I do this show once a week. Uh, subscribe, notification bell on, and go ahead and hit the like button while you're there. Okay, here are the yellow cruise ships. And if you want to pause, that way you can uh, take a a second and read which ships are where but i would draw your attention to the trending statement there at the bottom right uh, just the trend we see that there is one more cruise ship in the yellow category than there was last week so just a, a little bit of movement and remember the yellow cruise ships are not under investigation but the orange cruise ships are let's move over to the orange cruise ships again feel free to pause if you want to see if your next cruise ship is on this list and uh, pay attention to the trending we've got a little bit of an upward trending we've got nine more cruise cruise ships that are now under investigation by the CDC opposed to last week. So they're only 22 last week. So we have seen some movement up. Uh, again, we just started the show last week. So it's going to take a little bit to understand what the trending looks like. But from week one to week two of our tracking, uh, we've gone up nine cruise ships. So those are the ships and that's the data. What does it mean to us? Well, I think it can give some level of comfort that there is a process in place, that there is daily reporting, that we can see what's going on in cruising. Uh, obviously, we don't have all the data points that we need to understand you know, what percentage of passengers uh, are testing positive, all that kind of stuff. But at least these are some simple visual representations to let us know what's going on in the cruise space. And let us not forget 
forget, it's just been over the last couple of weeks that there's been less restriction on capacity. And so more and more people are getting on cruise ships. So the, the trending upward, maybe not that alarming, uh, but we'll see if that trend continues. And look, a lot of folks had the question, what does it mean when a cruise ship is under investigation? I did a video explaining exactly that from the CDC website. Uh, make sure you watch that next. This is Tony for La Lido Look. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.